The question of the week comes from Kishori Ambaripuri from the United States. He says that India-Australia series was marred by a lot of controversies. And uh, he's right there. Sledging, allegations of racism, unsavory comments being made. It witnessed a lot of un... Well, he's got, he goes on to say a lot of ungentlemanly-like behavior. In your opinion, who is the best-behaved cricketer both on and off the field that I've experienced? Well, it's an easy one to answer. Alan Knott is the man, and uh, he was, of course, the England wicketkeeper batsman who I played with for years, also was uh, a Kent man. Uh, I can tell you that, in my view, he was the best behaved because in all the times that he played against Australia, the Australians respected him so much that they never at any stage sledged him. In fact, there was one occasion when a fast bowler, and I think it might have been Dennis Lilly, had a bit of a go at Alan Knott, and Ian Chappell went over to Lilly and said, you leave him alone. It was absolutely incredible. To, to actually bat with uh, Alan Knott was quite an experience. On the one end, certainly in my case, I would be really copping it left, right and centre, whereas down at the other end, if Alan Knott was there, uh, he would not cop any flat at all from uh, the opposition. Um, he was a religious man, um, also a fitness fanatic, and I think um, took the example that he set very seriously. So Alan Knott, without any doubt, is the answer to that question. In modern cricket, I think Sachin Tendulkar is probably the most well-behaved of the modern players. But look, there have been occasions when he's um, had a little bit to say to uh, bowlers that have perhaps overstepped the mark or niggled him a little bit, but I think that Sachin Tendulkar does set a fantastic example.